Tips for Effective Electronic Newsletters Email marketing is spreading around the whole world because of its high effectiveness, speed, and low cost. If you want to introduce and sell your product or service, electronic newsletters are a fantastic way to contact your targeted customers. In this screencast, we'll give you a few key tips and warnings and show you how the right tools can help you get a favorable newsletter response. Tip number one. When sending HTML, add a plain text alternative. Why? While HTML newsletters are ideal because the newsletter design can be visually rich, chances are high that not all of your recipients will be able to open them. Some email clients do a poor job rendering HTML, and some people are constrained by corporate policy to receive only text email messages. The second reason is that there is a lower chance your newsletter will be flagged as junk mail if you send the plain text alternative. Unfortunately, sending HTML and plain text simultaneously can't be done with email clients like Outlook Express. However, a great tool called MaxBulk Mailer gives you this ability, and it's available for both Mac and PC. To prepare a plain text and HTML newsletter using MaxBulk Mailer, just choose the text HTML format from the format pull down menu. Then write or paste the plain text version of your newsletter. And there it is and write or paste the HTML version below that. And there that is too. If we move to the Preview tab, we can check our work. Here we see the HTML version, but by clicking the eye, we can also verify the plain text alternative. The secret is that MaxBulk Mailer is using a MIME type called Multi-Part Alternative. HTML code will be rendered by the recipient's email reader if it's supported. Otherwise, the plain text alternative will be displayed. Tip number two, make unsubscription easy. When designing your newsletter, it's important that you give your recipients the option to unsubscribe. Not only is it polite, but depending on your country, you may be legally required to give your recipients a way to unsubscribe. MaxBulk Mailer has a fantastic feature called Remote List Management to accurately handle subscriptions and unsubscriptions to newsletter distribution lists. We'll show you two aspects. The first is that unsubscriptions can be handled programmatically with a single click. In this example, our recipients will read an HTML newsletter with a textual link that reads, To unsubscribe, click here. They simply click on the link, and they are removed. They even receive a confirmation. The second aspect is that the unsubscription happens in real time. So when we wish to send our next newsletter, we navigate to the Recipients tab and select Remote Lists. We can choose from several lists to send our next newsletter and feel confident our newsletter won't reach anyone who has opted out. Just imagine handling subscriptions manually. You likely wouldn't have the time. Tip number three. Personalize your newsletters. Think of it this way. Are you more likely to read a generic newsletter or read a newsletter that looks as if a friend had written it to you directly? You get the point? By utilizing all the information that you know about your customers and utilizing MaxBulk Mailer's Tags feature, you can highly personalize each newsletter that you deliver beyond just using their name. For example, in this newsletter, we've written a conditional statement to address our recipients formally with a prefix, instead of using their first name. If we go to the Preview tab, we can check if it's working properly. Dear Mr. Patterson, Dear Ms. Wagner, when we know our recipient is female, Dear Mr. Cooper, or Dear Friend, when we don't know their last name. Tip number four, deliver newsletters regularly and when people want to read. To keep newsletter readership high, it's important to deliver consistently and stick to it. You may also consider delivering a newsletter early in the morning so that your recipients see it at the top of their mailbox in the morning. But if you're on vacation or not at your computer in the morning, how can you deliver at the right time? The answer? With an email client that can schedule deliveries, like MaxBulk Mailer. You just need to ensure that you're connected to the internet and running MaxBulk Mailer. First prepare your message. Ensure the content is written, the recipients are chosen, and that the connection settings are correct. But instead of hitting the send button, you'll choose delivery, schedule. Let's deliver this newsletter tomorrow at 8 a.m. Internet traffic should be relatively low, and hopefully it will be the first email our customers see in the morning. We click OK. 
And at the top, we have confirmation of the next scheduled delivery. Tip number five, don't get caught. Don't get caught in junk mail filters. With today's strict junk mail rules, there is a high chance that your newsletter will be flagged as, well, junk. But the Max Bulk Mailer tool has a feature called Spam Check to help you reduce the chance that your newsletter will go into someone's junk mail folder. After you prepare your newsletter, don't forget to click on the Spam Check button. Its specialized rules will help you determine if there is a problem. See? This row says, Subject is capitalized. And it looks like our message body contains the text, Great Offer. We should fix our newsletter before sending to reduce being sorted as junk. Here's a quick review. Tip 1. When sending HTML, add a plain text alternative. Tip 2. Make unsubscription easy. Tip 3. Personalize your newsletters. Tip 4. Deliver newsletters regularly and when people want to read. Tip 5. Don't get caught in junk mail filters. We hope this screencast was helpful to you and that you'll simplify your next electronic newsletter with Max Bulk Mailer. For more information, visit maxprog.com.